Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Today we're going to look at the story in Matthew 26 of Mary anointing Jesus. Matthew doesn't specifically tell us uh, her name, but in John 12, it does tell us that it's Mary, the sister of Lazarus and Martha. So what I want you to do while I read this story is I want you to close your eyes and use your imagination like you're there at this dinner party. Maybe grab a bottle of essential oils if you haven't and smell it. Um, and just imagine what it would be like if you were there at this dinner and, and watching and how would you respond to this situation? So you imagine while I read and it says, Now when Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came up to him with an alabaster flask of very expensive ointment and she poured it on his head as he reclined at table. And when the disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, Why this waste? For this could have been sold for a large sum and given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? For she has done a beautiful thing to me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. In pouring this ointment on my body, she has done, to me, done it to, to prepare me for a burial. Truly I say to you, wherever this gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. See, this is a beautiful story of Mary pouring out her love and devotion to Jesus. Um, she didn't care what other people said or what other people thought about her. She didn't care how much it cost her or what it did to her reputation. She threw caution to the wind and was fully worshiping Jesus sacrificially, um, just giving everything she had to honor and worship and glorify Jesus. This was costly. Um, the, the ointment is estimated to have been a year's worth of work for someone, um, which is a huge value. Um, the disciples, other people watching her were questioning why she was doing this. And so just a question that I have for you is, are you willing to worship Jesus like Mary did? Are you willing to put your reputation on the line? Are you willing to follow him and worship him uh, even if people question you or say you're doing it wrong? Are you willing to give and worship him sacrificially to show your love and devotion for Jesus, who is the savior of the world? And then a warning in this story is, are you like the disciples who are judging and questioning and condemning other people for how they worship or serve God? See, God has created us all differently and uniquely with different gifts and abilities to be able to serve and worship him. And he's created us differently so that we can work together and use our different abilities to become the body of Christ for the mission that he has given us. And so know that God created diversity and he created us different and we're going to express our worship to him differently. And that's a good thing. So today, will you choose to give everything that you have to Jesus? Will you surrender every aspect of your life and love him with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength? I hope that you do. Have a great day.